Hey friends, today we're going to be changing the router name and default password on this Netgear uh, router. This specific router is the N300WNR2000. And uh, it's a very simple process. Uh, what you're basically going to need is a computer. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on. I actually don't have any internet connected to this, but we don't need it because we're just going to be connecting to the software that's uh, inside of this specific router. So let's go ahead and jump onto my computer and uh, go for it. Okay, so we're currently on my computer. Again, I'm using a Mac, but this will work very similarly with a Windows machine. Uh, basically, I'm just using my Chrome uh, web browser. You can use any other uh, default web browser that you really enjoy. And what we're gonna first do is connect to that router. Now again, my router is currently on its default settings. So I'm gonna use my, on my Mac, my little network drop down menu. And the default name for this router is Netgear 21. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna ask for that default password. Now again, if you've already reset this password to something customized, put in your personal password now. Otherwise, I'm gonna look on the router on the back and it's gonna show me the default password that I'll type in now. Okay, now that we have that network key typed in, I'm gonna go ahead and click the join button. And it, it'll take just a moment here while my computer is connecting to the router. All right, we've connected to the router and we can actually walk through this little Genie software tool that uh, is, is available for us. If you do not see this, then there's another way uh, to get to the default page here where you can configure the settings. What you're gonna do is come over here to your browser and we're gonna type in 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. And you, as you can see, the Genie comes up uh, using your browser window. So I'm just gonna close that down and we're gonna work within this now. So again, I'm not connected to the internet. If you are, you can go ahead and walk through the configuration uh, with that in mind. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this and go to the next button. Okay, so this brings us to our homepage for this specific Netgear uh, router. And we wanna do, a, again, a couple of things. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna change our network name to something a little more customized. I'm gonna come over here on the wireless page and we're gonna let that load. And this is where we're gonna be working out of. So the first thing we're looking at is this Netgear 21 name for our network. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to something a little more customized. We're just gonna type in test network one, two, three, just to give us something to work with. Now, the second thing we want to do is we wanna come down and we wanna change our security passphrase to something a little more customized. So I'm gonna delete the old password and we're gonna type in something, again, it can be between eight and 63 characters. You really wanna make this secure. So use symbols, use capital letters, use those kind of things. Again, for our purposes, I'm just gonna type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Do not use this, that's a terrible password, but for our purposes, it'll, it'll work. As soon as I click the apply button, the router is actually going to reset itself. So you gotta give that just a little bit of time. And once this comes back on, we will be able to reconnect to the router with using its new name. So I'm gonna wait for this to reset and then I'll show you that process. Okay, at this point our router has reset. Now again, we're gonna be stuck in this specific screen because our computer is trying to connect to that old router name. So I'm gonna come up here and use my drop down menu. And as you can see, this new test network one, two, three is showed up for us. I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna ask us for that new password we typed in. So let me do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero and click the join button. Give that just a sec while we're connecting to the new router name. And there you go. As you can see that uh, the little network genie will pop up automatically. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, and go ahead and click on out of it though, let's cancel that. And uh, we can go back to the home page here. And there we go, you are all set up. Again, remember that this admin panel, if you wanna go directly to it, the default passwords for this admin panel are actually gonna be on the back of your router as well. Friends, I hope that's helped. If it has, would you hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more cool tech video tutorials coming up real soon. Thanks so much for watching.